positive. I'm HIV, HIV positive, positive and have accepted to live with HIV. I was born with it. My HIV status is a private information that I choose to share or not to share. Absolutely devastated. devastated. Morally killed. Angry and panicking. I was unbothered by it because they explained me when I was seven years old that I didn't know that it was a big deal, just, oh, something I have. I was like, when you are fighting and suddenly you have a punch in your head, this is what I felt. I'm never afraid to disclose my HIV status. Yes, I was definitely afraid to disclose my HIV status because I was a version of self-stigma. In my daily life, I live as a gay man, often living with HIV. But does that mean I share my status with everyone? Also no. Hmm. The first person I disclosed to was my mother. My best friend. My girlfriend. A friend who was also living with HIV. And his reaction was, how long have you got left to live? <laughs> his reaction was, it must be a false positive, which it wasn't. Yes, it was very hard for her as a mother too, but I know, I still remember her face. She held on strong to my hand to make sure that I knew she was there for me. The minute people learn that you live with HIV, they start thinking, oh my God, you HIV positive, are you sick? That I can still be physically fit. They think that I'm going to die very fast. <laughs> and that HIV doesn't, and they think it does, limit who I am. Um, that there must be something that I regret doing and that must be making me sad, which isn't true. I don't look like I have HIV because I look healthy. They don't understand that uh, one can have a normal job, they can still have fun uh, as everyone else. They start believing that being HIV positive means one has got a certain disability or abnormality. Yes. No, I've never been discriminated at work for being HIV positive. I've been. I've been in dentistry, in social services among some of my friends. In elementary school, when I was a sergeant, they didn't want me to involve with my classmates or teachers. Never to my face, because I feel that um, people are not brave enough, but very often, very regular, on social media, I get discriminated about my HIV status. Cyberbullying is a global issue. I experience stigma at hospital every time I go for my routine checkup. Yes, it does affect how I see my future. My future, I felt, was something that was taken away from me. At first, I thought my future was slipping away, and then I reshaped my future. Now the way HIV affects my future is actually giving me something that gives me the ability to want more than I've ever wanted. Now I have a son, one-year-old son, absolutely healthy son. It's a miracle. No, actually, HIV shaped my future to fight for human rights. Yeah, how short does this answer need to be? <laughs> so many things. HIV is not a death yes, sentence. sentence. I wish they knew that it, if you're on effective treatment, that it's untransmittable. I wish people could know that living with HIV, one can still be happy, one can still get a normal job that uh, a person not living with HIV can get. That HIV is not an obstacle to have a family, to give birth and to breastfeed. Not to waste their energy on ignorance because my HIV status doesn't affect anyone, but public health policies that enable ignorance and stigma to affect all of our lives. My God, it's 2020. People should know what HIV is. I'm sorry that you didn't have an, that enough information, but I will happy teach you. HIV does not define me. What defined me is that I chose to live with it and I chose to fight against the stigma that defines who you people are. So if we don't fight for our rights, no one will. <laughs>